Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And uh, a few months ago, I think it was, uh, I was contacted by GearBest with the question if I was willing to review a new Orter printer, the Orter Obsidian, a printer that wasn't online uh, back then when they asked me. And uh, well, I, of course I said yes. Uh, I like the brand order very much. You, you know that I did a lot of laser reviews for them. Um, and so I said yes. And uh, well, last week I got a notice that uh, the printer was being shipped. And today uh, my neighbors accepted the package. And uh, well, it was uh, at their house. But they told me that the box was a little damaged. So. Uh, when I came there, there was indeed a damaged box and at first I was willing to make a live stream out of the unboxing and then uh, yeah, uh, setting up the printer, but then when I saw the damage I said, well, maybe I first try uh, if I can put the printer together and then do a live stream of the first print. Now, while I'm unboxing, I'm a little bit afraid I'm not going to do that first print either because uh, while unboxing the parts, uh, when it came to this country that I unboxed, I also put out some broken plastic and I don't know what it is, I don't know where it came from, but I can't see that these parts here, uh, well, they look pretty damaged to me. And I don't know what further is damaged, so we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to investigate it. But I also see that here uh, the PCB that is, uh, it's, a, it's a ribbon cable over here that's supposed to be in this PCB. Well, it's completely, completely damaged. So this is not going to work. I'm sure this ribbon cable has to be replaced because it's, it's completely broken. Um, then I also saw that when I was willing to get the bottom part of the printer out of the box, this part, I already found out that there were some, some knobs that were loose on, on the printer. And uh, yeah, well, I'm now going to unpack it. This was one knob that was loose. And I'm now going to get the plastic off of this printer. And yeah, you can see that also this has been damaged a lot here. Uh, Whoa, well, okay. So over here, this is the screw that uh, holds the bed and it's completely gone through the bed and on the other side as well and also the bed is completely bent. Here it has had severe beating, it's, it's completely beat up. Uh, it's sheet metal and I think it's about one millimeter thick sheet metal but it's, it's completely bent. It, it's, uh, there are yeah, rather deep holes in it. I guess this should be perfectly flat. And now you see that it's under an angle. Uh, because otherwise this cable can impossibly go in straight. The strange thing is that uh, when I see the packaging, and uh, well, it, it's a very sturdy packaging but the box was completely torn up. So, uh, yeah, the, I, I guess the, the, the transport must have been very, very rough. So, uh, I really think that Arthur uh, made, made a great printer. Uh, everything is from, from very sturdy material. Everything is, is really yeah, almost built as a tank and therefore <laughs> it's really strange to see that uh, UPS managed to damage it, damage it so heavily. Uh, 
there are parts of, of paint that came off this part here on, on the frame while there was a layer of foam in between it so yeah, I, I think the, the UPS guy must have played soccer with it <laughs> it's really too bad but I'm not going to review this machine I, I can't do it because it won't do justice to this machine um, I'm going to ask uh, Gearbest and, and via them Porter uh, if it's possible to review another one something <laughs> that, that is shipped correctly because this is really a shame it's really oh, it's, there are dents here as well oh damn and here the printer is really everywhere in the housing there are, are dents I find more and more it has a broken display oh wow it really can't be worse now this is it I hope you like my videos uh, subscribe to my channel and wait for another review of this order machine to come out thanks for watching bye bye